Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I just want to get right into it. I'm going to be talking about anxiety. I already did a video about this a couple months ago and it did pretty well on my channel. If you guys haven't checked out that video, link will be in the description below. Going through this and kind of dealing with it for a really long time, you kind of learn as you go. And the things that I mentioned in that video, some of the things I still use and some of the things still work for me, but then other things not so much. I just thought that I would update you guys on what I do to deal with my anxiety. My anxiety isn't as bad as it was before. I think I've learned how to manage it much better than I did a couple months ago. And like I mentioned in one of my videos recently, I decided to take a break from everything for about three, four months and kind of center myself and really take care of my mental health. I'm really glad that I took a break from it, refreshed, rebooted, whatever you want to call it. Now I'm back and I'm going to share with you guys some of the things that have helped me deal with it, could potentially help you. So let's just get right into it. I think that a lot of the times when you deal with anxiety, you don't even know that you're dealing with it. I feel like 95% of us have dealt with anxiety one way or another. Symptoms vary. I typically get headaches. I get lightheaded. I feel weak. I feel nauseous. I feel extremely drowsy. And I feel like my heart is racing like 500 miles per hour. It's insane. One of the biggest things that has helped me if you guys can guess what I'm about to pull up, leave me a comment down below. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm always posting these. But they're my CBD gummies. I'm obsessed with these things. You have to say it, please. This is a really natural remedy if you guys are dealing with anxiety or just stress or want to sleep better. CBD is a component of THC. And THC is marijuana essentially but this comes from a cannabis plant yes cannabis plant and this is naturally formulated to relax your body and kind of make you feel zen if you know what i mean so i haven't taken them today but you literally just take two these are literally get them in the flavor strawberry and it's my favorite flavor this has honestly made me feel so calm so zen it's natural and super safe leave the link down below if you guys are interested i wish it has been super helpful for me this has really helped me feel calm when i'm really stressed out or just as soon as i kind of feel my symptoms starting i take this and in a matter of 20 minutes i can feel really really good and i feel better about myself mm -hmm. i think Sometimes we need that little extra push. This is definitely my extra push, so highly, highly recommend. Next thing is probably my vitamins. I'm still taking my vitamins. I don't take them every single day because, I'm not gonna lie, I forget. But the days that I don't take it, I do realize a significant change in my body and my mood. I feel like the vitamins really do help with everything. So if you guys aren't already taking your vitamins, definitely, definitely, definitely invest in some good vitamins and take them daily because your body and your mind will thank you in the long run. So next point is kind of similar to vitamins, kind of your health. You kind of have to avoid eating sugary foods and fast foods i say this because when i eat healthy you know consecutively i notice that i feel much lighter i feel much happier and i just feel like top of the world then when i have fries or i have ice cream or i have a burger or chicken tenders I start to notice that my body reacts to what I put into it. I get cluster headaches, I get, you know, heart palpitations, I feel really fatigued, I feel really gross too. I get really bloated and I feel icky. And when I feel those things physically, it also goes up here. My body isn't happy, my mind turns into a a lot and i don't like that so i make sure that i try to stay away from foods like that i always try to eat healthy you know every now and then you can splurge but you know keep it very limited only because it can take a toll on your physical state so also you don't want to eat any those types of foods because you want your body to be healthy you want to get strong and all that 
So going into my next point is exercise. Exercise has really been helpful for me for the past couple of months. When I was on my break, I did stop for a while and I did notice that that was when also... <laughs> Notice that that was one of the reasons why I started to feel super negative about myself and my body because I stopped exercising. Now I try to exercise, and I'm on, I should say, like three times a week, which is good. And it's just overall really good for you. Make sure that you guys are also staying hydrated because a lot of the times when I get headaches, sometimes it's not even my anxiety, sometimes it's just that I'm really, really dehydrated and I haven't drank in any water on top of your vitamins and your foods and your exercise will make a difference of how you feel physically and mentally so I really really recommend those things I think I mentioned this in my previous ID video I have a tendency of writing a lot which is a really good thing because a lot of times we don't want to really talk about our feelings so yeah writing has really helped me I, I keep a journal and I write every now and then I normally write like two to three times a week just really analyzing what i've gone through what i felt to push myself to let go of everything that i went through and just keep moving forward if that makes sense like whatever happens in a specific week kind of just have to like think about it I guess feel everything and then kind of let it go and just move on to the following week and just try to be better and make it better you know a lot of times we tend to carry on our feelings from previous weeks and previous days and previous months and previous years and we can't be doing that because we're just going to be carrying a whole lot of feelings inside of us so then the other thing that i like to do well the other thing that i have been doing is kind of developing a routine of some sort my body already got used to waking up early i'm a, I'm, a, I'm a morning person so even if i go to sleep late from studying like i always wake up at nine o'clock and, and it just helps me keep track of what it is that I need to do during the week what it is that I want to do that's why I use Sunday nights to really get my week plans started whatever it is you want to call it but I like to have my week organized my days organized because I just feel so much more productive make sure you stay on your routine because it will really really help you physically and mentally and even emotionally and you feel good about yourself so my last few points are essentially a lot of the times well with what i noticed in me is that i have a tendency of being scared of the future i like to know what's gonna happen let me know in the comments down below if you also feel the same way sometimes i feel like i'm crazy because i want to know what's gonna happen in like a week or so what's gonna even happen tomorrow or in a year or where i'm gonna be or how my life is gonna be and that's scary for me sometimes because sometimes i feel like running out of time like i'm getting older and i'm not where i want to be like i would focus so much on like my fears and everything one of the things that i really really encourage you guys to do is to start focusing on what you can control which is right now the present moment i feel like a lot of us probably do the same thing that i do we focus so much on what's going to happen what's going to come and we like to be prepared but the truth is that we can't always be prepared for everything and we kind of just have to take it second by second because you don't even know if you're going to be here tomorrow or the next week or the next month you know focus on the present moment and what you have control over a lot of times we try to control everyone around us but really be trying to control ourselves and i'm something that i had to work on for such a long time because i did struggle with that and i still do now but not as bad as before like i would always focus on what everybody else was doing but what i was doing and that was kind of dumb because i wasted so many years trying to figure out everyone's purpose in life when i should be focusing on myself but yeah focus on yourself and what you can control not what you can't control because then forget that take life moment by moment second by second don't waste any of it because you never know my last point is basically to take time for yourself a lot of us sometimes stress over everything and we crash that's why i always say if you want to take a break take a break who cares if you took four breaks in the past seven months you know 
you need that break you need to be able to recharge yourself and really take care of yourself because you can't really expect to take care of anything around you or anybody in your life if you don't take care of yourself first yeah i made sense for once yeah and don't be so hard on yourself because that's something that i've done for a really long time i would always punish myself and victimize myself crazy and i realized that you can't be doing that you can't be victimizing yourself because life goes on and there are other much more important things than feeling sorry for yourself learn to take care of yourself whether it's physically emotionally mentally spiritually you know you kind of have to just take a step back and tell yourself i feel like i'm gonna break down i feel it coming i need to take a step back and kind of just recharge, reboot, hit the restart button, reset button, whatever it is you want to do and just do it. At times we think that we have to control our thoughts but the truth is you have to just stop letting them control you. It's kind of like learning when to say no, I'm not dealing with this right now. I'm too busy doing something else. I sometimes, when I'm studying or I'm watching a video or I'm filming, I actually feel anxious sometimes. Tell my brain, okay, I don't have time for this. You gotta come back later on. And sometimes, like, it forgets to come back, so I'm good. I'm clear. You know, I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but that's kind of like what I do to just. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really hope that you guys use the tools that I mentioned today. Those are the things that have really, really helped me tremendously. I think that you guys got this. I think that you kind of just have to take it day by day and not really stress yourself out so much because that will drain you physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, in every little single way possible. So don't do that. Learn to be kind to one another, really learn to take care of yourself because if you don't take care of yourself, this kit is over, you know? I hope you found these tips helpful because they've helped me and I really, really hope that they help you. You kind of just have to breathe, take it easy and learn to let go of everything. So you guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my several tips on how I deal with my anxiety and I really hope you guys try these tips out because they have helped me tremendously. I have one mind and soul and if we don't really take care of it properly then nobody else will. Don't be so hard on yourself. Everyone's journey is different. You just kind of have to trust the process and really trust yourself and know that you're going to be okay. Whatever it is you guys are going through, I'm telling you it's all temporary. Don't let any of it get inside your head. Don't let any negative thoughts bombard you. Don't ever let someone tell you that you are worthless because you have anxiety or that you're different because you have anxiety. This is anxiety. Anxiety does not define who you are or what you're meant for in this life. So don't ever let that absorb you and consume you. You are not anxiety and anxiety is not going to destroy your life. It's a matter of learning what works best for you and really just finding the time to take care of yourself don't forget to follow me on instagram on twitter on snapchat and don't forget to subscribe to my channel make sure you guys hit that bell notification button so you're notified every time that i post but yeah i hope you guys have a great day a great week and a great life and i'll see you guys in my next video